Hey guys, thought I'd make a video real quick. Um, hadn't made one in a couple of days, so I uh, didn't want to leave y'all disappointed. So, um, still waiting to ship out. Um, getting anxious, I guess you can say. I'm like, oh, come on, is it ever going to get here? But I guess in all reality, it's passing by quicker than I think because it seems like yesterday it was 137 days and now it's. 97 days till I ship out so uh, I guess like three months and a couple of days a week or so uh, I've got depth call next week uh, this is Wednesday so next Wednesday I'll have depth call hopefully we'll be doing some interesting stuff and go from there but um, gonna throw out a few questions see if anybody has any responses as far as what you're gonna do uh, in your experiences if you've already been through basic tech school etc etc uh, my main thing is vehicle wise like I'm gonna have tech school in Texas for about eight weeks or so after I graduate basic um, and then I'll be going to Washington like the state of Washington for combat survival training which I think is gonna be fun but um, I don't know how I'm gonna do about a vehicle like I want to buy a new vehicle but I know the best thing to do probably wait until after I get out of tech school and have my permanent base assigned before I go buying a vehicle. Um, and I don't want to jump straight into, you know, like a bunch of debt just because, you know, or just because, you know. But getting around the base, I don't want to be the guy at tech school like, hey, man, I need to ride to class because I don't have any wheels, you know. So I don't really know what to do. I don't know if I should buy like a used vehicle and try to like drive it around and then sell it right before I leave but I mean I'm gonna be going from Washington to Florida and I don't really want to drive from Washington all the way to Florida I mean that's across the United States I like driving but not that much um, but from Florida I will go it's like Pensacola I believe it's the naval base I have water survival training and parachuting courses but from there, I'll go to Little Rock, Arkansas, or Altus Air Force Base in Oklahoma. And I could see driving from Florida to Oklahoma or Arkansas. But then from there, I'm not sure where I would go. So I don't know if I could wait till I get to Florida, buy a vehicle. But then you have the whole, I bought a vehicle from Florida, which has been around saltwater and you got rust and all that other stuff. So I'm trying to decide basically when would be the best time to buy a vehicle? Um, I don't know. I I hate thinking that I'm going to be having to bum rides to like school on the base, which I'm sure it can't be too far on the base. I could probably just walk, or I've heard a lot of people have bicycles. They just like bike to you know their school, but I don't really want to bike into town. But I guess you know I have flat. You know, people in my flat, like my wingman or whatever, he might have a ride. And I'll be like, hey, bud, <laughs> hey, I'll buy you a burger or something. Just let me ride with you into town or something, I guess, if I get too bored. So I'm trying to decide what to do on that, I'm trying to decide what vehicle I want. It's a toss-up between, like, a, a new Camaro, um, Jeep Wrangler, or, like, a Scion TC, or maybe even the Hyundai Elantra, just because they're cheap and they don't look too bad and get good gas mileage. I don't know how much I'm going to be traveling. I don't think I'll be driving like a whole lot. Being a load master, I'm gonna be flying most of the time, I believe. So it's not like I'm gonna have a whole lot of time just to get out and make a four or 500 mile trip. So I don't know the gas mileage is really gonna factor in that much and be that big of a deal, but I still kind of hate spending 25, 30 grand on a vehicle and then only getting like 18 miles to the gallon, which is about what the Jeep's gonna get. But after I put a lift on it, do all the guy stuff I want to do it's probably maybe going to get 12 13 miles per gallon so but anyway so that's one of the questions I'm trying to figure out right now um, and I've got some more stuff I'd throw out there but I know this video is probably getting kind of long so I'll cut it off at that uh, I'm still waiting though 97 days till I ship out uh, I'm actually on the way back to the house from the gym I got up this morning and went for a run I'm proud of myself, I actually ran four miles the other day. Um, and used to, it killed me to run a quarter of a mile. 
and I've just worked my way up, just made myself, just determined, you know, I'm going to do this. So uh, I got my first four solid miles, and I was really happy about that. But anyway, uh, I'll post another vid uh, video later, maybe have a few more questions or comments or whatever. So stay in touch. Uh, have any questions, just holler at me. Uh, and if you know anything or can suggest anything, like if you've been through Loadmaster School before, uh, or even just anything, and you, or you just want to suggest something about a vehicle, like what I need to do or whatever, just feel free to comment. Leave me a video uh, reply if you want to. Uh, you know, it don't matter. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I'll try to keep y'all updated. Try to put some good info on here if I can. Um, and if you're shipping out, get on Facebook, um, especially if you're shipping out in May like me, search for your uh, ship date. Uh, the official like Air Force debt page, they have a group just for your month. And if you don't see one, create one. But more than likely there's one out there so you'll be able to keep in touch with people that's potentially going to be in your flight, you know, or something like that. So get on there and look that up check it out it's pretty neat so but anyway i'm rambling now so i'll stop so anyway y'all have a good one and until next time we'll see y'all later goodbye